This is unsettling. When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving, there was no doubt about that. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Ev Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light creeping in from outside to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. I can still see that face. The first was that my parents were in bed because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which had obviously woken me. I'm scared. That was it, bedsheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. Ugh. As if some disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. Oh my god. I lay there in disbelief, thinking that the noise was either my imagination, or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. It was then that I noticed my door shut as it had been as I'd fallen asleep. Perhaps my mum had checked in on me, and then the cat had sneaked into my room then. I don't think so. Yes, that must have been it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes in the vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought that I must have disturbed my cat, but quickly I realised that the visitor in the bottom bunk shut up, was much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep, and much more sinister. As if, as if alerted to and disgruntled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. Oh my god, this is awful. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle sense of unease I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. Shit. My heart raced as my eyes panicked. Scanned the almost impenetrable darkness, I let out a cry. Ah. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted on my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house, but as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk bed started, suddenly started to shake violently, as if gripped by an earthquake scraping against the wall. Email. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me, pulling me into darkness. So I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief streamed down my face. Yet through all the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been in that bunk would return if I even so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I do not know. But as a child, I felt as if that unseen menace remained close, listening. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was a Saturday and I played outside quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky enough to have a long sloping back uh, garden in the back. We played there often, as much of it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes, climb in the huge sycamore tree which towered above all else, and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of a grand adventure. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room, ordinary, slight and innocuous. But for me, that thin boundary was a looking glass into a strange, cold pocket of dread. Outside the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room, watching me play, waiting for the night when I would be alone, eagerly filled with hate. It may sound strange to you, but by the time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. Ugh. I didn't protest, I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. Shit. I really don't want another night. Oh my god. Save, yep. Get that saved. Oh, shit. A huge skull, yeah. Ok, 
Okay, I can sprint now. A banner on a long pole. It's too old and torn to make out the details. I'm gonna just check this door that I just bricked up. No, I can't. This is like doom. Shit. Oh! Alright. A banner. Yep, too old and torn. This thing's flashing now, a huge skull. Uh. I'm just gonna run through. Fuck this. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Looks evil now. Look at the rate and brightness at which his eyes are flashing. Oh god. Oh! Shit. Pieces of fairground equipment or something. That must be like a yeah, it's a gate, isn't it? All right. Can't get down there. Let's go further this way. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Bit nervous here. Okay. There's gotta be a way to open all these. Aha, there's another one of these. Okay. Oh shit, what was that? Hello. It said. Ah! Oh, I see, there's a switch. Okay, cool. So, has that released any trapdoors? No switches here. Okay. Fine. Did I look at that thing on the wall? I tried, yeah. Uh, yeah da, 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 da. No, that one's still there. See what? Maybe it released something that's. Oh! Oh, crap. Over in this direction. God, that made me jump. What's that say? How are you? Yeah, alright. Ah, now. Bloody hell. <sighs> Sorry, I'm failing at the controls here. Alright. God, I don't like it. Really don't like it. Hello, how are you? Alright, let's go. Ah, this is open now. I don't even know what that says, or is. But we'll press it anyway. Yes, we will. Ah, I think I can go down here now. No, I can't. Fine. Uh, that way, perhaps? Ooh, ah, this one's open. There it is. I'm scared. All right. It's like a face up there, isn't it? Shit. Don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it's getting bigger. No. 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 Oh my god, this is awful.
This is creeping me out. Come on. Oh good, there's blood going. Hello, yeah, I've seen you. Ah, oh, that one's been done, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Where can I go now? That's the question. Is that one free? No, it's not. Oh, I can get this way. Oh my goodness. Bollocks. Oh! No, no, no. Nope, don't like that. What the hell are those things? Shit, I don't even want to know. I don't know what that thing is either. Wish I could save it. I really wish I could save it. I've done the one down there. That one's still closed. Uh, what else is still going? That one's still closed. Done that. I think it's just a case of looking around until you find the ones that aren't done. Ah, here we are. More stuff to do. Oh, I can get through there now. Shit, I don't want to move out because some shit's going to go on. That face thing was awful. It's in here. Nothing except a lever. Oh, my goodness. So that's one with the scary man. Yeah, that's still there. Thank goodness. He's been blocked off because I cannot deal with him chasing me or something. Uh, that one I've already done, haven't I? Yeah. Cool. Right. So I'm sprinting everywhere. I'm just scared. Right, here we go. There's another one down here. la dee da Yep. Don't do anything. Just be nice. There, it's nice. That's good. Dilly. Shit. This one's open, and he's not there. I'm just going to get it. Balls. So, I mean, he's chasing me. I don't want to know. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on? Talk to it. Shite. End of demo. Well, that, I've got to say, I cannot wait for the full version to come out. Old. Yeah, that's because I've played it. That was, that was something else. Um, <laughs> how weird, but also how brilliant. Whew. Right, well, thanks for watching that one. Uh, sweet dreams, everyone. <laughs>